In this lecture, now we will see the code for solving the Sudoku using backtracking. So here is the code for the example that we discussed in the previous lecture. So solve Sudoku. And here is one Sudoku that is given. So we are talking about a 4 cross 4 Sudoku. Okay. So there you have. So now what we have to do. So we try out all the possibilities in each cell. You can put the numbers from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So we try out all these possibilities. And if whichever is safe to put here, we will put it. Okay. And then proceed to the next one. And if somewhere, if it is not working fine and we reach a dead end, we will backtrack. So this is the code and let's start by working with one example. So this is the main code. We have some functions, auxiliary functions or helper functions. Find unassigned location. So this function basically will give us the row and column for the next unassigned location in the in our grid. So this is there then there is is safe method is safe will tell if this number that we are going to assign is that already used in that particular row is that used in the particular column or is it used in that particular box and if it is not used anywhere it will save so it will return true then what we do so let's start so solve sudoku we will call solve sudoku okay with our grid that we have made. So this is a two dimensional array which we assign. So we will call this function in our main and then what happens int row comma column. Okay. So find unassigned location grid comma row comma column. So we pass this grid and row comma column. So now what happened the first unassigned grid is zero comma zero. So we have number zero one two three. These are the rows and 0, 1, 2, 3 are the columns. So 0, 0 is the first unassigned cell. Now what happens? I try out all the numbers in this loop. I try out all the numbers from 1 to 4. So how it happens? So I try out. So 1 here, 1 is not safe here it's in the column. 2, it's not safe in the row. 3, I try. It looks fine to me. It's safe here. So I now do what? It's safe. 3 is safe. So then what I do, so basically what happens, I try number is equal to one, I try is safe, returns false. I next for loop, so number becomes two, I try is safe two, it returns false, number becomes three, I try is safe with three, now it returns true. So I enter into the if block and then I assign grid zero comma zero here. So grid zero zero is equal to three, okay. And then what I do solve Sudoku grid again, I call the same function. It re reaches here. Okay. So then what happens? So that you can in fact represent here using a stack. Okay. So let's have a stack also to have our first thing was that we solve with we are at zero comma zero. Then we solve Sudoku. Now we have find an assigned location. We come to which one? So we come to 0 comma 2. So 0 comma 2 is our next one. And in 0 comma 2, what happens now? Uh, let's see. So 0 comma 2, I come here and again, then what I will say from number 1 to 4, I try out all the possibilities 1. So it's not safe because it's in the row 2. It's not safe because it is in the row again. 3, it's not safe because it's in the row. 4 I try so 4 is not safe because it is in this box so what happens now this means 4 and these are the only possibilities so nothing can fit here so number 1 to 4 I tried and then there is nothing left in this function so it returns a false so this for loop ends and it returns a false so basically it backtracks and backtracks where this goes away Okay, and I backtrack to 0 comma 0 here, whatever I had. And where was I here? So 0 comma 0, I was, I had n equal to 3. Okay, so this was the case. So my for loop was with the value n is equal to 3. So now what will happen? n will be incremented because now what happened? Solve Sudoku, I called, it returned me false here okay it returned me false 
so i will now next line that will be done is grid row comma column so basically row and column are zero zero it makes it unassigned so here it becomes unassigned so basically it is unassigned now okay and it becomes unassigned and now it tries n is equal to 4 so i try is safe n is equal to 4 so 4 is safe here in this box and then what happens again i go to make grid row comma color 0 comma 0 is 4 and now i go to solve sudoku again so it find unassigned so this is the unassigned one here okay because this was not assigned here i could not assign anything uh, so i come here and so we should clear this stack our stack also so we clear it and we come here so i now can put i try one one is not possible two is not possible three is now possible okay so three i put here so now what happens i am at zero comma two row comma column and n is equal to three here so that works fine for me i again call solve sudoku so this again comes into the stack and i have here solve sudoku so this one is the row comma column is z one comma one okay and here i try one one is not safe two i try is not safe three three is safe okay so three is safe so n is equal to three works fine for me okay and so this one became four okay so n is equal to three works fine for me and then i call solve sudoku again so solve sudoku will go and it will come to one comma two and here i try out n is equal to one so in the loop again it will run n is equal to one is not safe two so two is safe here so i come to two and two works fine for me so here n is two so this is working fine next i come to again i call solve sudoku now the unassigned is two comma zero and here what happens n is equal to one i cannot put in column n is equal to two can i put i can put so i put n is equal to two so i get a two here and then what you see so two is working fine here i call solve sudoku again recursively solve sudoku will come and it will find unassigned row is 2 column is also 2 2 comma 2 n is equal to 1 i try it works in column and row it works fine here and in box also it works fine so n is equal to 1 works fine here i call solve sudoku again grid row comma column i assign this i call solve sudoku now next unassigned is row is 3 and column is 1 here again n is equal to 1 i try it works fine n is equal to 1 works fine for me okay because no column row and no inbox so i go and call again so n is equal so 3 and solve sudoku 3 comma 3 now and n is equal to 1 will not work 2 will work okay so this solves our sudoku okay so you see that it solves our sudoku and then also backtracking will keep on going okay so 2n is equal to 2 works fine so what will happen i come here and what will happen so solve sudoku this works n is equal to 2 is safe n is equal to 2 is safe so i assign it and then what happens n is equal to 2 if i assign so this works fine and then what happens nothing will work fine then you will return and it will return true so this will be the solution so this is the main idea for solve sudoku and if you have a stack like this where you maintain the row comma column and the value of n this will help you track the sudoku problem and then you can solve this one for 9 cross 9 also but for understanding purpose i had kept it purposely a smaller one so this is there some helper functions are find unassigned location just go 
find it will just go through all the cells and find whichever is unassigned unassigned is basically a hash defined zero used in row so in that particular row you search used in column in that particular column you search these are simple logic used in box so search in that particular box if that is there is safe method how we check if it is not that number is not used in the row or column or box then you return safe here is that example some example in main function so you just say solve sudoku grid if it returns true then the solution exists and you print the grid okay so this was the example of sudoku i hope you understand this and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot